Hello dear friends, this is Dr. Utkarsh Kittekar working in the Department of English, Shri Shivaji College, Pavani. Friends, I welcome you all in my YouTube channel. In this video series, today we shall try to continue the chapter number one that is the organs of speech which we had started in, in our previous video. Friends, in this video we shall try to cover the two systems engaged in the production of speech sounds. The first one is the respiratory system. As you can see in the image, the respiratory system has three parts. Three parts means three different organs are engaged in the respiratory system. Lungs, muscles of the chest and trachea which is also known as the windpipe. This respiratory system works very importantly for the production of speech sounds because it provides the main resource that is the air stream which is required for the production of speech sounds. So through the respiratory system the process of breathing in and breathing out takes place. Breathing is in is also known as inhalation and breathing out is known as exhalation. Friends, when our lungs are compressed, the air is exhaled, that is thrown out and that air passes through our trachea, that is windpipe and through nose and mouth, it goes out into the atmosphere. On the contrary, when the lungs expand, we take the air in, means we breathe in which is also known as inhalation and with the muscles of the chest the lungs can do this process. In this whole process of inhalation and exhalation windpipe or trachea plays an important role because through it only the air can come in and can go out also. This breathing in and breathing out provides an air stream and this air stream is the most powerful and the most important energy resource for the speech production. This air stream mechanism is also known as pulmonic aggressive air stream mechanism. Pulmonic means related to the lungs and aggressive air stream means the air stream which is exhaled by the lungs. In this way the respiratory system plays its role of breathing in and breathing out with the help of three important organs, lungs, muscles of the chest and wind pipe that is trachea. Now let us concentrate on the second system. This is the phonetary system and phonetary system has two organs to work in. The first one is larynx and the second one is vocal cords. When we breathe in and breathe out at that time at different levels in the trachea the air is processed and this process takes place with the help of these two organs in the phonetary system. Friends you can see here the, an image of our mouth. The different organs of speech that are engaged in the production of speech sounds can be seen here. You can see 
the vocal cords the larynx and the air which passes through this wind pipe and it goes out into the atmosphere through the nasal cavity and the oral cavity let us concentrate on the first one the first organ in the phonatory system that is larynx what is larynx larynx is the upper part of the trachea trachea is the wind pipe so this upper part of the trachea is made up of muscles and tissues and how does it function it functions like a wall a wall is used to allow or to disallow something to pass in or out in the same way larynx functions like a wall and it moderates the flow of the wind which is passing through the trachea at the same time it helps to block the wind pipe while eating or drinking so that the food or the liquid should not enter into the wind pipe the front part of the larynx is known as adam's apple the next organ is vocal cords what is vocal cords vocal cords is a lip like structure situated inside the pharynx you people know the lips so this organ is also like lips it is joined at one end and it separates at the other end and because of its flexibility it can assume a number of positions as per the need however three important positions are to be seen here these are most frequent and most important so we shall see the three important positions of the vocal cords the first situation vocal cords drawn wide apart friends you can see a lip like structure here the upper part and the lower part you can see in the image a gap is there what is this gap this gap is created because the vocal cords are drawn wide apart they are separated from each other and because of that reason we can see a wide gap there a wide opening is there and this wide opening between the vocal cords is known as a glottis what is its function it is very simple friends situated in the trachea in the wind pipe the vocal cords regulate the flow of the air when vocal cords are drawn wide apart at that time the wind which goes out through the wind pipe or which comes in through the wind pipe passes without any disturbance this disturbance if takes pl takes place creates vibrations so if vibrations are created the vocal cords start vibrating but due to this position position number 1 vocal cords are drawn wide apart there is a wide gap and due to that gap the air can pass through it without any disturbance or without any kind of vibration and so such sounds are produced here f th and so on you can see here this position 
is taken by the vocal cords at the time of our normal breathing. Now let us move towards the second position. In the second position again you can see the image friends, vocal cords held loosely together. You can see the gap between the vocal cords has decreased. Means earlier the gap was very wide, wide opening was there which is known as the glottis but here that wide opening has, uh, has been narrowed and we can see a little space is left there between the vocal cords. Because of that reason the air which passes through it makes some sound, makes creates some disturbance, creates some vibrations to the vocal cords and due to this a hum like sound is produced. When the vocal cords vibrate at that time a hum like sound is produced and these sounds are called as voiced sounds. However, when the vocal cords do not vibrate while producing sounds, it means without any disturbance or without much disturbance when the air passes through the vocal cords in the second position then such sounds are called as voiceless sounds. Voiced sounds and voiceless sounds. So in the second position we can see the different sounds all the vowels are there and some of the consonants are also there you can see on the screen friends. So this is the second position of the vocal cords and the last position vocal cords held tightly together. This in this position again you can see that there is no gap there is no space between the vocal cords. Why? Because the vocal cords are held tightly together. The air cannot pass through it and such kind of position is held by the vocal cords at the time of eating and drinking. Now obviously why? The question comes there. Why such a position is held there? Because when the vocal cords are held tightly together it becomes impossible for the food or drink to enter into the windpipe. The windpipe is completely blocked at this time. So when we eat or drink at that time we can see uh, the third position of the vocal cords in our mouth. But friends when this tightly held condition is released at that time an explosive sound is produced. A sudden unblocked sound is produced and that is called as a glottal stop. What is that? Glottal stop works like a mild cuff. The sound like a mild cuff. The different sounds produced uh, with the help of the third position of the vocal cords are here the, uh, such as the initial vowels in the words like act, empty, uncle etc. So these are the three different positions of the vocal cords. With this friends the second system uh, also phonetary system also ends here. In this video lecture we tried to see the articulatory system and the phonetary system in detail. So uh, with this I stop here in the next video we shall concentrate on the third system that is the articulatory system. With this thank you friends thank you.